Oh boy, it's our monthly, not a drama video, but there's these videos with the title like that where it just makes you click and be like, oh shit, what happened, Nick? Is the Boruto fandom crucifying you? Is it My Hero Academia? What is it this time? What's going on? I want to find out. Give it to me, Nicholas Light. You know, when YouTubers make videos with these types of titles, they yeah. usually start off by saying, I don't know how to say this. I didn't want to say this. What I say, or about to say, is going to get me cancelled. I'm going to be real with you. This man has been cancelled maybe 17 separate times. <laughs> but here he is. And he's still killing it. Because you can't get cancelled. You can get deplatformed, and you can get banned. But that's not going to you know, stop you from creating content. Just look at Alex Jones, he's still doing that shit. I think that the only way to get canceled is for you to cancel yourself. For you to actually take in, you know, all the hatred and criticisms, whether it's not justified or not justified, and to just kind of like, give up. That's when I think that you get canceled. You guys, I don't give a f Based. I don't care. I've been in Japan for a little over a month. Yeah. I am flying back home to America in a few hours. The return. And that's the hot topic of this week. For a while now. America. Okay. My home. Oh, does this have to do with the election stuff right now? What's going on? And I'm sure there's a lot of weirdos out there that want to know who I voted for. <laughs> um, I've been in Japan. I don't think you can vote in from Japan. You can't do mail-in ballot from Japan, right? First of all. Wait, dislike ratio? No, 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 there's no dislike ratio. This is a perfectly fine video. It's well received. I couldn't vote. And even if I was home in America, I wouldn't vote either. That's my individual choice. And and I think a lot of people immediately start saying, oh my God, you didn't vote. You're the fucking reason. Voter apathy is the reason that we're ran by, you know, Hitler and all these different fascists. They start screeching. No, I, I, I do think that like if you are presented with two options where both are, it's just basically, do you want shit sandwich or a turd burger? <laughs> Cause it's a two party system. It's just like both options fucking suck. But at the very least one option, turd burger is kind of funny and speaks from the heart and you know, opposes the normative, you know, uh, the machine that we call it, right? This artificial bullshit, the Democratic Party that just says all these nice things, but no change ever actually fucking happens. And people are fed up with that. They want just change against the establishment. Now, does Donald Trump, who is a fucking, is he a billionaire? Maybe. Reality TV, you know, fucking tycoon. Do you think that he knows what's going to be good for the common person or can relate to the common person is not an anti-establishment? That's a totally different topic. But the fact that he even addresses this shit and speaks from the heart, I think is enough for the common people to be like, we'll take a chance on it. It's like it's better than just voting in the same fucking party that just, you know, made our lives worse and worse over the years. So if, if these are the two options that have been presented and you say, you know what, fuck both of them. I don't want to vote. I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Maybe that there is some opportunity for you to vote for like um, other candidates that's not just, you know, Democrat or Republicans and go for something else. Then maybe they can, I don't know, start their own little fucking growth over time and then in the future it can take over. But I don't think there's anything inherently evil with not voting when the options you've been presented are so fucking trash. Right to vote not, or not to vote. And that was my choice. And if you have a problem with that, fuck off. Simple as that. I love how he censored the fuck before, but this one was just not. If you voted, fine. Beautiful. I hope you're happy. If you didn't vote, beautiful. I love you. Uh, I hope you're happy. You know what I mean? I don't care. I tr But we care enough to make a video and farm it though. Yes, sir. I treat you guys. I treat the world, my neighbors, strangers, mm -hmm. like I treat my family, like my fiance my best friends i don't care about their religious beliefs i don't care about their political beliefs at the end of the day we meet up we make memories and then we go on with our lives yeah i'm not gonna sit there and say wait a minute you voted for trump you must support terror you, you, you oh yeah how is thanksgiving's dinner gonna be 
And for you Americans, you know, Canadian Thanksgiving was last month and we obviously didn't have an election cycle. But like, I can't imagine what Thanksgiving is going to be like for you guys as soon as after this whole election shit. Because right now the discourse is crazy because it's all centered around identity politics. If you voted for Kamala Harris and the Democratic Party, then you are on the side of, you know, you're on, you're on the women's side. You know, you give them the right to abortion and all that stuff. And, you know, it, it's like you're doing the right thing. And if you vote for Trump, oh, my God, you are the worst fucking person ever. He's pretty much Hitler. I can't believe he did that. I hate you. Right. It's just it's so crazy how mainstream media has spun up these narratives to delude people into thinking that both parties even gives a fuck about them. They are getting spun up through identity politics. You know, these issues that seem so critical. But at the end of the day, the common man, the common person sees that groceries are unavailable, gas is getting out of control, jobs are seemingly just going away, and they just want some sort of help, some sort of change from what the establishment has been, you know, given us, the people. Therefore, they're going to opt for Trump, even though they know that he's not a good person, even though that they know that, like, this is not a good option. At the very least, it's some sort of change without, and there's not even an expectation that he's going to fix things, but the fact that he seems to say good shit is enough for people to vote. And I don't think that these people are bad people. I don't think just because you voted Trump, you're like a terrible person. I think that this is democracy at work. And you're seeing the failing two-party system just present itself. It's just beautiful democracy at work. You see Democrats just fucking up over and over again, trying to just continue with their, like, um... The, the same plan that they always have that constantly fails and they wonder why they lose and they wonder why even previous Democrats or progressive people are opting out to choose like a different option. You, you must support abortion. You must, uh, I hate you. You know, uh, uh, my, 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 my second wife died from that. Yeah. I don't care because at the end of the day, like I said, it doesn't matter what you believe, who you believe in. I'm not going to treat you different. And I wish the world was more like that. Nah, people are too chronically online and they're just always being fed these like biased narratives that again are just like billion dollar fucking corporations to try to try to like divide and conquer the monkeys. If we, the common person, everybody could just unite and just like pick leadership that represents us to people, that would be so good. But it's not in the best interest of the people who actually have power. The people who actually have power are behind these, you know, TV news stations that your parents probably watch all the time. And they have these different talking points that they're constantly being fed to create this social divide amongst people so that it's easier to start blaming the other side of like, oh, you vote Trump? Then you must hate women. Oh, you vote Kamala Harris? Then you must not care about the common person. It's just like this. Both sides are technically should be on the same side, but they're throwing shit at each other as the puppet masters are just, you know, laughing all the way to the fucking bank. And it's just so sad how people get so caught up in identity politics and they start shitting on other people based on these delusional beliefs when at the end of the day, we should see eye to eye as like common people and talk about the issues that's preventing, you know, our quality of life from going up and actually think about policies that could change these things. But it's like, no, it's got to be team sport. It's just always like, if you're not on my team, you're against me. And I can't ever see you as a human being if you vote for Donald Trump or Kamala, etc. You know, I wrote on Twitter, I'm actually happy to go home to America. People read that like, oh my God. God, he's a Trumper. He would have definitely voted for Trump. I cannot believe Nicholas Light would do that to me. He's ending. He's the reason why I can't get in the porch. Like, that's crazy. You just, just, just please just stay away from the internet and go touch some fucking grass and breathe a little bit. Oh, he voted for Trump. Oh, he wanted Trump to win. What if I did? What if I did? Would that be a problem if it's a I would low-key say based because I see the frustration build up in America. I see, and even if I'm an American, I can clearly see, you know, all these different headlines and, you know, other people also living in America and like the common people struggling. That shit also happens in Canada. We're so just fed up with the same people always promising good shit, but nothing changing. Things getting worse and people get tired and they're going to, of course, elect somebody that represents a difference. Even if that's happened back in 2020, they just want change. It's suffocating. The problem Get the fuck out of here. Go somewhere else. There's millions of other YouTubers on this platform that'll bend over and let you stick it in. Vote, vote with a little sticker, taking a picture with a fucking sticker on their shirts. I Bravo. voted. Bravo. It's like the same thing with the COVID thing. 
getting a sticker. I got a shot injected inside of me. What? Holy it, what, what? You want that? I don't oh. care what you do. Injected inside of me. What? Holy it, what, what? You want that? I don't. I don't care what COVID thing. I got a sh holy, holy it, what, what do and people do do care. What you want that? Holy it, what what you? Holy it, what what you? It, what what you? What, what you want? What, what you? What, what you? What, what you want? What, what you? What, what you want? What, what you? What, what you? What, what you yeah, want brother. I don't care what you do and people don't like that. I don't care. They care that I don't care. And if I say I don't care, they say, oh, so you're fine with this, you're fine with that. Mm. Shut up. Just shut up. Just shut the fuck up. You know what I want? I just want to work as hard as I can every single day, provide for the people around me Great. to the best of my ability, and make a happy life. And if it's not happy and things happen, well, that's just life. Shit happens. I'm it not is what it is. I'm not going to finger and blame this person, that person, this person. I know I have the power in my hands to make things happen around and i think that this is a winner's mentality to be able to look within yourself and ignore these systemic issues that is so important but so difficult to change and rather than doom posting and rather than you know lashing out and you know blaming everyone else being able to just like deliver results by your own fucking merits and that's a winner's mentality but here's the thing a lot of people don't have this mentality a lot of people don't think that it's possible a lot of people it's way more comforting to blame and point the fingers and say the government's failing us, society's failing us. I'm in the position I am right now, not because of my lack of inaction, but due to the systemic issues that is so difficult to change. And for sure, there's some partial truth in that, right? It does seem like the world is against you. It definitely does. But the moment that you start, you know, projecting your fucking insecurities and your failures onto other people and blame these social issues saying like, oh my God, you're the reason why change isn't happening. Therefore, my life is bad. It's so fucking cringe. Tell me or make or not make just like how they think Latinos voting for Trump means they're deporting themselves. Yeah, and I think that this is actually the most racist thing possible. The most racist, you know, belief, I think, is the notion that if you're a Latino, that you would vote for Kamala because that means it's helping the immigrants that other, like, you know, Mexicans cross the border. But that's crazy because the Latinos voting are American citizens. They're not Mexicans. They're not immigrants. They're citizens of the United States and they have their best interest at stake. The fact that you assume that these people of color would simply vote in the party that's letting in other more migrants of the same color, people of color to come in. What is that? That's a crazy fucking logic that I think is the most self-report that Democrats don't actually fucking know shit. And that they, they don't even realize how racist this is. It's like, yeah, you're Mexican, then you should vote for Kamala. And it's just like, what? You voted for Trump? But they're... Deporting the illegal immigrants, but it's like, motherfucker, they're American citizens. They're struggling to live day to day, and they're trying to pick a leader that's actually saying that they'll address these issues. Now, I'm not saying that he'll actually, you know, solve the problems, but at the very least, he's saying shit that Kamala would never say. It's just fascinating when you kind of, like, understand the mindsets of people and just, like, they're so delusional, they don't even know why Trump won. Anything happen around me. Someone you voted for might affect me in the long run. Might affect my financial stability. Yeah. Might make me lose a lot of money. Might make me lose family when it comes to like insurance and life insurance, and everything. I might be affected by who you vote for. I have family members that are two that have two sides. One was for left, one was for the right. Trump, Kamala, right? You think I'm gonna look at them different if I'm affected in the long run by something? If it went either way, if Kamala won, if this person won, you think I'm gonna look at my family different? Oh, you fucked my wallet up. You took it. <laughs> Some people, I think, do do that though, right? Because, like, again, like, I can't imagine how messy Thanksgiving's dinner is gonna be with some people at the table if politics get brought up. It's like, who did you vote for? Oh, shit. No, I'm actually just gonna hang out with them on Thanksgiving and have a great time with them. Yeah, I just feel like that's the best part of life. If something affects me, I'm not gonna start pointing the finger because I know this is a collective decision. This mm. isn't the blame on a single person. It's actually just democracy happening. The popular vote is what, you know, made this shit happen. Overall, I don't care who you vote for. I don't care which side uh, of the line you are on when it comes to politics, right, left. I don't care what you support. As long as it's not like CP and sh you know what I mean? Like, don't stay away from that.
Oh, but uh, this person. There's no winning. This is why I hate talking about politics. <laughs> this is why I fucking hate it. Because at the end of the day, everybody sucks. Everybody does. Yeah, it's it's a messy combo, right? It's it's always um, I don't think I really bring up politics much because at the end of the day, I'm just here to fucking entertain. But when the topic of politics has come up, I like to kind of show you like my mindset, and my mindset is not that I'm like siding with the Republicans or that I think like Trump is gonna solve everything, but it's just like just look at what's happening, right? Just look at what's been happening with the establishment party just completely unaware of what the common person wants. Then you have someone that's, you know, whispering nice things into your ear. Are you surprised that people would vote Trump? Even if it's, you know, already happened back in like, you know, like, what was it, like 2016 or some shit? I think it makes a lot of sense why it's happening. I'm not justifying that it's like a good or a bad thing, but just the pure logic. That's what fascinates me. People having the complete meltdowns thinking like, oh my God, how could this happen? I can't believe people actually voted for him. It's because you didn't really try to understand the perspectives of both sides, right? People are so deluded into thinking like, you know, I'm part of this team and you know, other people must have this mindset. And if you're opposed to this mindset, you're not a real person, right? But like the more you delude yourself into this echo chamber, the less you'll realize what kind of differing opinions exist outside. And then that's what's going to happen. You're going to have people crying on Reddit. Reddit told me that Kamala's going to win. Reddit told me that there was so much, you know, great momentum and people are going to vote for Kamala. Why did Reddit betray me? Because Reddit is an echo chamber of very left-leaning idealists. And there's a lot more people out there than just people who post on Reddit. And now you're getting to see exactly, you know, how small of a fucking bubble that you exist in and so many other people exist out there. Okay, this is why I stay out of it. That's the problem. Good, good, G -g kill me. Hope that my plane goes down, nose dives into the ocean. What, what else can I tell you? This is who I am. I wish more people were like this, but whatever, man. I feel like my life is better because I don't get involved. I wanna wrap this up by just saying this. Live your life. Have Bro said, I wanna wrap this up. But we're 4 minutes 48 seconds into a 10 minute 17 minute video. We're not even halfway done. Wrap it up my ass. You want to live it. If you're affected by someone else or rules or regulations, the law, find another way. I'm not from anything. I'm not from the top. I didn't get fed with a silver spoon. I'm from the f close to the fucking projects. Not the best neighborhoods. I come from a family that worked like three jobs. I made this i made this what you see right now i'm able to be in japan because of what i made no one gave me a fucking handout i don't look at anybody for help and whenever whenever somebody was trying to hurt me or knock me down i found another way around but here's the thing not everyone has this resilience and mindset and i do believe this kind of mindset is the winning formula right and you could say survivor bias all you want but here's the thing the funniest thing about you know when people say oh my god you're just talking about survivorship bias Okay, then what would you want? Do you want advice from someone that didn't survive? What's the point you're making? I think that like this kind of mindset of like self-accountability and an individual's effort is enough to, you know, change their own lives is such a good thing. And for sure, there's systemic issues that is, you know, beyond what an individual can control and may impact you. But I think many people who talk about these points don't even try themselves to change their day-to-day -day lives or make any action because again, it's always so much comfortable to blame and point fingers and other external problems rather than look into yourself because self-reflection is really hard and difficult. And eventually I led to here. Oh, but now all of us have that power. Yes, you do. You all have that fucking power. Maybe you have it worse than I did. Maybe you have it way worse than others did. Maybe you have it just as worse or maybe less worse than I did. Either way, you could find a way around all of this. Maybe that path you're walking down isn't meant for you and you make a right, you make a left. Jump over it. You dig a fucking hole in the ground, you go under it, onto the other side. You stop being a pussy, you grow wings and you fly. There's nothing fun about division, but it's something that's inevitable and is never going to go away. There's always going to be a divide between Pretty people, much. nations and everything. But I just want to know, here, Nicholas Light TV, if you don't care what I do behind closed doors, uh, that sounds weird. <laughs> Where's the scene where we went? Gluck, 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 gluck. You know what I mean. You know? <laughs> oh yeah, sure God. I do. No, no. I Behind closed doors. I do, like, I... He said he wants to treat us like his fiance too, bro. Yo, he's slipping up. I remember here when he's like, I treat everyone the same. <laughs> like my family. I treat you the same with my fiance. Wait, what? You're going to treat you like my fiance? The gluck, gluck? 
Behind closed doors? What you trying to tell me right now? I do something weird like Diddy or something. But, mm. oh my God, dude. Where are we what going with this? About? Where are um, we going with this? What was I saying? As long I as don't you know. don't care about who I would vote for or my views on life and whatever, we're good. If you do care. I think that you need to like separate, like, like you're here for entertainment. You're here for content. You're here for fucking anime reaction. You're not here for mine or Nicholas Light TV's world views or politics. And maybe some of our commentary and the reactions are going to be different due to the way that we see the world. But for the most part, like, a difference in political ideologies should not suddenly be like, oh my god, I knew that you were a bad person. But I guarantee you, if you never knew anything about his like, political beliefs, but you still enjoy the reactions, why are you suddenly changing it up? Ever think about that? It's very apparent why. It's because people are, again, so divided with these identity, you know, politics. And suddenly, if you clash against, you know, our team, our parties, you're against us. And there's no, like, rational thought. It's just, like, an immediate fucking, like, out, like, a, you, you just say, bad guy. Oh, you, you think this? Therefore, bad. Even though I enjoyed all your content before, now that I know this, you're bad. But if you never knew that, I bet you just still enjoy the content. And you wouldn't even fucking know what's going on. Just think about that for a second and how different of a person Nicholas becomes when you have or don't have the knowledge of what his political ideologies are. Just think about that. You're weird. You're fucking weird. And I cannot stand, I can't stand when, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll yell at my friends real quick. They don't watch me anyways. They don't even acknowledge my existence. Fuck them. I, I shouldn't even call them friends, but I'll, 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 I'll say it right now. <laughs> oh, shit. IRL friends, quote unquote friends, getting straight bullets in this video. All right, I want to see some drama. It's not like they're going to watch this. All right. My friends voted for um, Kamala. Yeah. Boo, how dare you not vote for Orange Man? And I'm in that group chat. I didn't vote. And they know my views. They mm. know that I don't like her. I don't. I think she sucks. And if you have to delude yourself into thinking Kamala like represents the common person just because her entire platform is ran against I'm not Trump. You are so delusional. You are the exact reason why Trump is winning. You cannot fucking tell me that the same fucking candidate from the same establishment that's propped up all these different problems that we have is suddenly going to change shit just because it's not Trump. And I'm not even saying again, it's not, I'm not saying that Trump is good. I'm saying that it's so blatantly obvious when you, like, basically, if you simplify this shit down to this base level, this is how people think. Democrats, good guys. Republicans, bad guys. Right? That is the notion that if you're a liberal left-leaning ideologies, you're like a morally, like an ethically good person. And if you have a right-leaning ideologies or conservatives, you don't care about other people. And you only care about yourself and you're selfish and you're uneducated. Right? This is pretty much like a stereotypes of different parties, in my opinion, based on what I've seen. And if you, and the saddest thing is, if we even agree that Republicans are bad guys and Democrats are good guys, here's what's happening right now. The bad guys may be bad, but the good guys are fucking retarded. They are so, so stupid. They constantly, constantly betray the expectations of the people that they're trying to compel. And what do you think is going to happen when this is the good guys that we have? People are going to become cynical and people are going to get frustrated and vote the bad guy and because they just want some sort of change. And if you can't understand that, I don't know what to tell you, man. And they hate that. They convince me every chance they get with all these details why I should love her, why I should hate Trump. And I don't love Trump. I don't. I don't at all. But they are trying to convince me, and that's how politics is. Yeah, and those friends, I think, do have good intentions. That all the things that Trump stands for, there's definitely a lot of shitty things. And a lot of the biggest thing that's been mentioned is the topic of abortion, right? Of course. The ability, the freedom for women to choose their right, their body, their choice. I completely fucking agree, right? But here's the thing. People care more about their day-to-day -day lives and the impact that's happening with the cost of living and everything being too expensive to live in. That is the fundamental biggest problem right now for the average American, in my opinion. And not just the average American. I think that's just globally. 
So social issues like abortion, of course, it's so important, but they're obviously going to choose somebody that's at least addressing something beyond just, I'm not Trump, haha, ha, you should vote for me. It's just like, it's so cringe to see people trying to like glaze Kamala and say like, this is like the best option we have. But you know goddamn well that both options are fucking trash. That's how it is. People are trying to convince, you should do this. This person did this, 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 this. How could you support that? Are you doing it as well? Fuck you. Seriously. Find a bridge, bro. And you- Yo. <laughs> he should clip this. And like post it in his group chat with his friends. Just fucking burn the bridge and leave the group chat. Post a fucking video. Drop the mic. And leave. Yeah, the Project 2025 thing, I think that like um, people are hysteric and whether or not 2025, Project 2025 will happen, no one really knows, right? Trump has often, quite often said like, no, I denounce that, all that shit, but like nothing is absolute. But people I think are just so radicalized on both sides and thinking like, oh my God, if you vote Trump, all the fucking immigrants are going to get detained and deported and all, all, all the, you know, the, nobody can get abortion Then oh my God, the worst thing's going to fucking happen. Just take a breather. You're basically like right-wing schizos too, just saying crazy shit like they're making the fucking chill kid children dirty, the frogs, the water. It, it, it's just crazy. It just just take a breather and think about like what the common person want, and like you'll start to understand why people vote in different ways. You figure out the rest. I hate these people, man. I hate people that do that shit. Get the fuck out of here if you're like that. This ain't the place for you. There's like I said, there's other YouTubers over here bending over telling you to vote. I got the sticker. I voted. You have to vote too. Yeah, the sticker kind of thing. It's like, uh, you know, you want to... I think it's still a good thing to encourage other people's to vote. But definitely that like sticker thing is kind of like moral grandstanding of like, you know, posturing. Like, oh, look at me. I voted. Look at this sticker. You know, you should do it too. If you don't, you're kind of guilty and you're a bad person. Shut up. You're a fucking YouTuber. Playing video games, telling people to vote. What the fuck do you know? True. Shut up. Even these political streamers don't know what the fuck they're talking about, bro. How about we save it and just leave it to ourselves instead of telling our teen audience that uh, that, 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 that barely graduated high school what to do. Or, or barely, 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 barely dropped out of high school telling them how to feel. How about we leave it to the professionals? You know what I mean? Or uh, I, I hate these celebrities, these streamers, these YouTubers. I'm going to another rant. But I'm, I'm so sick of these celebrities, YouTubers that, that, that are over. Thank you, Res Team TV, for the three gifted subs, man. I appreciate that. He's like virtue signaling online or taking a video like, Hey, guys, it's important to stand on those lines and vote. It's important. We have to save them. Shut the fuck up. I still think it is very important to vote though, right? To turn up, to actually have your vote count. Every vote does count. And it was very apparent, I think, in 2020 when, you know, Biden won against Trump or some shit like that. Every vote definitely mattered. But if you're, again, someone that is just faced with such shitty fucking options and you don't, you just feel like apathy, I don't really blame you for not voting. What do you know? What do you know? You don't care. You don't. A lot of people do care, but just as many people, I don't think they care at all. But they use this opportunity again to seem like they're on the morally correct side, to posture other people and point and wag fingers and make them feel self-important. This self-righteous indignation at play. So stop acting like it. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't care either. And that's why I'm not over here telling you what to do. But if you're telling me what to do, get the fuck out. That's all I'm telling you to do. You know, anyways, I have a flight. In two to three hours. The king is returning. You're going to wish I land because there's going to be so many streams starting on Monday. Woo! I think November 11th. So many streams. One Piece months. Naruto weeks finishing Naruto Woo! this year. ReZero. We got so much to do. Oh, shit. ReZero. Are we covering that? Oh, man. I am so excited to get back home in America and doing my very best to provide for me and my family, my fiance. Everybody else, do what you want to do. You know, as long as it's not something weird. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, yeah, if this loses me subs. Who gives a fuck, bro? I'd say good. I say that like if it loses you subs, I, I think losing subs is a great thing. People might think that it's cope, but like truly, if you don't like align with my beliefs, you don't enjoy my content. Why are you subbed? You're a dead sub. It's like bad for the analytics. It's like it's shedding the fat, and there's nothing like personal.
Like you can move on and watch the stuff that you want to enjoy. And I can make content for the people that actually want to enjoy my content. That's it. There's nothing personal. Just unsub if you want to. <laughs> Who cares? You know, if you don't, if you didn't expect these words coming out of my mouth, you don't know me. And I don't want to know you either. So, yep. To America I go. Have a safe flight. A safe flight or a terrible flight. I have a baby sitting like two rows behind me. I swear to God, bro. If it makes no <laughs> Fucking kill that baby. <laughs> oh my god, a oh baby. Two rows we got. Dude, it's gonna be crying. All of it. You better have your noise canceling phones, bro. You know how I am. I'm beefing with children all the time. Noise. All right, um, before I get banned, uh, I love you guys. Bye. All right. Sayonara. Nippon. I love you with all my heart and soul. I cannot wait to come back in, I believe, January of 2026. It's gonna be a little over a year. But when I come back, I have so many plans. I wanna meet you guys. I wanna have fun. But I've been so blessed and grateful to be in this country. And thank you for opening your, your door. All right. First to me. That's it. And that's pretty much it. And I think that was a great video. Whether or not you agree with this political ideologies, it's not about like agreeing with this political ideology, right? It's about this notion that like people get caught up so fucking fervently about these identity politics and, you know, two party system. You're in the good guy. You're the bad guy. Always blaming each other and creating more divide. Why can't we just like rationally come together and talk about the common issue that we're all facing and address those things rather than being whipped up by mass media and being convinced that like you're doing the right thing. And that's the thing, right? His friends Please. apparently, Find right? a bridge. You, you heard the example of like, you know, his friends talking about how if you don't vote for Kamala, then you're a bad person. Look at all these bad things that Donald Trump did. And maybe the most um, ironic thing about those kind of examples is that his friends, they have good intentions. They believe that they're doing the right things. But because they can't see beyond their own immediate like boundaries and like what they think is morally good, they cannot comprehend why people would choose the alternative. You simply have to state that Trump is a racist. He's a pedophile. He said grab him by the pussy. All these different things. But guess what? The common person doesn't care about that. The common person is frustrated that, you know, their paychecks are getting more thin and that their living situation is getting worse and everything is just seemingly impossible. Jobs are going away. Things are more expensive. And then you have one candidate. And I'm not saying that he's going to address those issues. But at the very least, he's speaking from the heart and saying that he'll address the issues. Right? And then the other side, it's just, you know, saying, I'm not Donald Trump. Like, what do you think is going to happen when you have basically a person that's, you know, still part of the establishment that's not, you know, speaking from the heart? And compared to someone else that's actually saying these nice, convenient things, right? Just, it just makes so much sense to me how Trump won. And if you can't understand that, you should, like, take a step back and disconnect and really, like, think about, like, the common person rather than being so whipped up by your own fucking narratives and ideologies in your political parties. At the end of the day, I don't think the Republicans or the Democrats, left or right, neither parties, you know what they are? They're both the same wings of the same bird. And that bird is there to fuck you. Straight up. Both options suck. And I would just wish that there was like a better option. A party for the people. The people's champion. Someone that actually cares about the common person. That you can live in this nice place and have all these social security nets. And that the amount of effort that you put in will be proportionally rewarded. And, and you won't be just fucking undermined. But, you know, that's how it is. It's divide and conquer always. Spinning up, you know, identity politics and, you know, social issues to divide the monkeys to keep them so distracted to really think about what the actual problem may be. But it is what it is. Here's a link. Please go check out Mr. Nicholas Light's channel. Have a safe flight and I will see you next time.